I'm at Refugio Amazonas, and somewhere up there is the harpy eagle nest. Uh, the chick fledged about just over a year ago, uh, but it still comes back to the nest for food. Sometimes the parents bring in uh, something they've killed for it. We get a lot of harpy eagles and crested eagles in our camera traps, and they attack the traps. I don't know why they're doing it. Uh, perhaps they're seeing the reflection in the glass on the lights, or maybe it looks like a monkey face, I don't know. But this is really the top predator for monkeys out here. And it could be the reason why monkeys hang out in groups, and it could be the reason why you get mixed groups of different species of monkeys, so that they can all look out for predators while they're feeding. Harpy eagles and crested eagles look quite similar, especially when they're juveniles. So if any of you know your Amazonian eagles, we've got the comments below where you can help us out. When the birds are nesting, Refugio Amazonas is probably the best place to see harpy eagles. They only nest once every two or three years, but uh, when there's a chick up there, the birds are coming in constantly, and you're pretty much guaranteed to see them. So I finally found the harpy eagle chick. He's sat above this salt lick. Salt licks are tremendously important in the Amazon. Uh, Amazonian soils and vegetation are very low in salt, sodium. Uh, so a lot of animals come here to eat the dirt and get that sodium that they need. I guess that's why he's here. Easy pickings. Unfortunately, at our hunted sites, the people say that these things taste delicious and there's a lot of meat on them. So these animals are threatened. And so are those monkeys we hear calling in the background. Those are capuchin monkeys. But it's strange that the parent birds don't hunt around the nest. And it could be that the eagles are leaving those, those monkeys for the chick. When the chick starts to learn to hunt, it needs monkeys that are close by so it can practice hunting. The fact that we're getting them in the camera traps is quite exciting. It could mean that these big arrays of camera traps that we're using across the landscape are a great way of studying these birds.